Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video we will see how you can perform housekeeping activities for a live class in VizIQ. So the very first step is you will log into the platform as an instructor. Once you log in you will go to the top left menu option and there you can find your live classes tab. Now let's say if I want to edit my class then you can see there is an edit class option. I get to see the form wherein I can make the desired changes. So let's say I want to conduct my session on 18th of April instead of 30th of April. Similarly I can change about the class information, I can change the recording option, logo, timing, total number of attendees whom I want to entertain in my live class. Once I'm done with all the changes, I will click on update and continue. So you get this message uh, informing that changes to the class have been saved successfully. Please refresh the classes page in order to view the live class in the live classes list. So I'll just close the window and refresh the page once and now you see that instead of 30th April the date has now been changed to 18th of April now let's see how I as an instructor can go ahead and enroll my students into a live class so I will click on the title of the session once I go inside the classroom you can see there is a people tab under the people tab you can see there are two options enroll new and share class link if I click on share class link you can see there is a URL which has been created for this particular session you can copy the URL and share it with the students either over the email or you can share it in any of the social networking websites if somebody clicks on the link he can sign up to your education portal and that's how he will get an access to the live session now the another option here is the enroll new once I click on enroll new you can see there are three different ways using which I can enroll my students into a live class the first option is by email so if I already have the name and the email of the user I can type uh, that information here and click on enroll and immediately the user will get a notification informing him that he has been enrolled into a specific class now if you have already the list of attendees who are registered with your training academy then you can also enroll them from the existing list for example let's say I want to enroll these two students so you see that they get added to this box and uh, you can keep on adding more students here once you are done you will click on enroll and again the same thing will happen each one of the invited or the enrolled students will get an email notification and from there they will be able to join the live session and the last option here is upload new list now imagine that you have a large group of users whom you want to enroll into your live session so you can download the CSV template if I open this template then you can see there are two columns one is the name and another one is the email I will fill up the information here let's say I have 500 students I can copy and paste their names and email IDs here and I can upload them using this particular option which is upload new list I can simply drag and drop the file click on enroll and all the users who were present in that list will be receiving an email notification informing them that they have been enrolled into a specific class so I've chosen three students I will click on enroll and immediately you will see that pop-up window will inform the instructor that three learners enrolled in the class I will refresh my page once in order to see my enrolled students so now you see that these three students have been enrolled into the class that's why they got listed under the people list once my class is over I have an option that I can also download the entire attendance report in the form of an excel sheet so if I click on the excel sheet you can see all the information will be displayed out here name email ID enrollment status now because this class is a future class so there is nothing which is mentioned out here but once the class is over then you can also track the total number of minutes attended by each one of these students what was their login and logout timings and if you have given them the view access view of the recording then how many views they have done if you have given them the download uh, recording access then how many downloads they have done so this is the entire information which you can download and save in the form of an excel sheet 
Now let's have a look on how you as an instructor can cancel an upcoming live class. So in order to do that you will go to the class and here you will find an option of cancelling a live class. So if I cancel it will ask me do you want to cancel this live class. Once I click on yes cancel then immediately you will get a message that the class has been cancelled successfully. Now I will go back to my classes list and I will refresh the page once and you will see that this class will not be visible under live and upcoming tab. Now this means that my live class has been cancelled successfully. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I hope that you will find this video very useful in terms of editing a class, enrolling the students into a class and cancelling a live class. Thank you.